Welcome to Cretoni Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm Bray. And are you ready for another one? Ooh. This, is the, this is the third video we've recorded uh, audio for tonight. But anyway, this is, uh, I forgot his name, RJ. RJ, the Jungle Fury Wolf Ranger. That's my dad. Uh, actually, it's Robert James, too. Uh, that's my dad. Anyway. I got to get him a wolf, a wolf Ranger shirt. There we go. He won't even know what it is. No, nah, but if you know it, it'll be fine. So anyway, we found our Wolf Ranger black. And as you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of touch up on the area. That's why I wasn't too happy with how the primer went down on it. And then we're going to go ahead and paint Wolf Ranger. So here we go. We've got our hexed lichen from the Vallejo game color. And we're just going to paint this everywhere where it's purple. It's supposed to be purple. Hey. Yeah. It's actually a very simple mini, but a very satisfying mini to paint. Very simple. I mean, it, his, the, the uh, whatever the Wolf Ranger, would, I forget, Jungle Fury? Jungle Fury. The Jungle Fury costumes were very... I hate most of them. Simplistic, but, like, pleasingly simplistic for No, me. not pleasingly. Are you kidding? No. They're like the big, solid color ones. Look I, them up. I, I, I was... Hey, guys, like guys, terrible. guess what I'm not using? Bang. Bree's on Bing. She's typing in. Not on Bing. Jungle Fury Rule 34. Bree, no, what are you doing? Jesus. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. This is going off the rails. Welcome to Cretoni Entertainment, where we are consummate professionals. We're not. Yeah. Nope. Videographizing. Nope. Not rampers. Video, rampers. Video, videographizing. Rampers. What's a ramper? I, apparently, whatever my fingers just typed. Interesting. Anyway, I, I I probably could have actually deleted a lot of this here and just skipped to the end. <laughs> Been like, guess what? We painted them purple. I like this purple. I like this costume. This is one of the few costumes from Jungle Fury I actually like. Uh, I like I like uh, purple suits. I think purple suits are a bold choice, and I like the tone of purple that they used. It's a bold choice cotton. It's a bold strategy cotton. Let's see how it pays off for them. We're waiting for we're waiting for Bree to tell us about the, the suits. See, I don't hate the White Ranger in that series. The White Ranger has more than just one color. Yeah, he's like orange and the, white. And the, the other ones have the other ones have one color. Yeah, blue, red. Actually, the White Ra the Purple Ranger, and the White Ranger both have multi layer colors going on there. So maybe it's all the extra Rangers because, like, I remembered like there was the other like the Black Ranger that came in there, and there was the other. Blue. I don't know if those are bad guys or what. Guys, I'm real behind. Okay. This is quality radio. She's we're like real. She's, we're real. She's behind. pointing at a photo on Bing right now. It's on Google. It's the Googlies. She went to Google.com and typed in "Where can I find Bing.com?" <laughs> wow. It went exactly as poorly as you think. So anyway, we're just painting purple here. Um, purple, purple, purple. We we did go ahead and make rules for this guy for. The, 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 the... Age of the Grid. Yeah. I was giving you an opportunity to jump in. I wasn't yawning yeah, at all. I wasn't you, yawning at all. You weren't... You, guys, it's late. Sorry, third video we're doing today. The other ones come out later this week. We didn't kind of in reverse order. Yeah, we got multiple videos coming out this week. Look at us. Getting back in. Saddle. Whoop, so, whoop. so anyway, we're going to use this Drucci Violet. The, the Drucci, Drucci Violet. Violet. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Well, that's the same color that the Count from Sesame Street uses. <laughs> It's a wash. It's going to go over all the purples. We just wanted to create a, a small amount of depth. Uh, and if you're traveling backwards in time and have already watched Friday's video, which is coming out four days after this video, uh, you'll know why. What? Basically, what we're doing is we're using the same color wash as the purple to create a slightly darker tone of the purple. Yeah, that makes sense. It's not like using a black wash where you're going to get a defined area of black in the very deepest recesses, and then you're going to get color that's kind of been muted by the black. In this case, we're just making purple into a deeper purple, so then we're going to be able to turn back around when this fully dries and highlight this hexed lichen purple with hexed lichen purple. Ooh. And the Corvus black is here because I couldn't find my Vallejo black gray. But they're basically the same color, and we're just going to highlight the black on the... Uh, Wolf Ranger, which would be uh, kind of an area up in the shoulders, uh, and then the uh, the pants. Well, and not to mention, it's really hard to find purples that cascade well or transition well. The purples all tend to just even if you're getting them like within a line, kind of be hard to do that nice gradient with. Unless you do a little bit of wiggling here and there. Well, you do a wet blending like we did with the um, Blue Omega Ranger. 
Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, takes more skill than I'm usually... I don't know. It's, it's pretty simple. If you go back and watch our videos, maybe like and comment on them. Uh, uh, that seems like a really gratuitous thing to like and comment on the video that you're in. Speaking of which, just as a reminder, we uh, are looking for 400 subs to give out a copy of the Psycho Silver promo fig for uh, Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid for the newest uh, darkness and light, shadow and light, shadow and not shadow. Shadow and Sonic? Shadow and Sonic. Shadow, <laughs> shadow and Sonic. Uh, so we're still still fishing for those 400 subscribers, looking for some comments to give one of those away. It's like, come on, guys. The the slowest the slowest period we've ever had gaining subscribers has been where we're giving something away for free. It's, it feels about right. It's, sta it's, it's staggering, it's, really. It seems actually about par for the course for us. Yeah. That that's, we we yeah. decide to give something away and jump on that kind of mentality, and that is when... Our subscriptions kind of stagnant. Stagnant. The winds. The winds have stopped getting caught in our sails. Well, we and we took break. We took we took a break. So I was supposed to have research on RJ's fighting style here for this video. You were as we highlight with the hex lichen, the same purple we started with. There's not a lot of colors used on this figure, which is of course always a nice thing. We were supposed to have some information on his fighting style and some some bio on the. Um, the Sente offered up to us uh, by someone on uh, one of the social media outlets Cretonia Entertainment uh, operates on. Uh, and I made the comment that uh, I would only accept them if there was a full understanding that I would deliberately misuse the information in an attempt to annoy you. Uh, to which the, you know, the response was, yeah, that's that, that works. And then I never got the information. So shout out to not getting it. Uh, hey. Hey. You know who you are. And if you don't, that's that's fine. That that's probably yeah. why they didn't send it to you. Is we're gonna lo we're gonna lose a subscriber for this one. Why are you calling people out then? Because I can. With my with my uh, with my uh, was that sorry, audible in, enough? Hold on. My <sighs> incredibly influential platform of non influence. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, running good games, you can still sponsor us for these videos. That'd be totally fine as we pull out the dead white or Hasbro. As we've mentioned, I think Hasbro owns Renegade Games. Well, Hasbro owns everything. This is They're true. like the Disney of board games. This is fair. So anyway, we're doing the white, and uh, one thing with the blackjack and that bothered stuff. me. That bothered me about this sculpt. And uh, for the most part, these Ranger sculpts have been really good at creating defined transitionary lines. In fact, yeah, they yeah. in fact they even had it on the uh, Mighty Morphin era figs. Where the um, the chest diamonds and the glove and boot diamonds were were um, actually there was a there was a, a marker like the the yeah, glove yeah. boot ones were raised up and the um, the ones on the chest actually had like a, a, a solid line indenting in as we pull out this silver any silver would do just paint everything silver that's all that, the silver yeah everything so it's got like the whiskers here you <laughs> got whiskers it's like so the, cute. the wolf the wolf whisker the wolf the uh, oh the wolf, man. the wolf blitzers the wolf blitzers. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I don't think that's um, what you meant. The claw thing, the whatever that is on his chest, it doesn't look like a wolf to me. Is supposed to be a black in the middle with a white outline, and there's no delineation line there to tell you where the the separation is. Well, probably because they got wise to the fact that you're painting their models, and they're all like, "Well, we did it freehand. This is advanced techniques from Cretoni Entertainment, and then the stuff and things." So anyway, paint all the silvers, the silvers. And then let that dry. Silver so takes a while to dry here, so we're just gonna kind of skip ahead there. Transition. We got all the silver on there. We're gonna pull out our gnome oil. Uh, any black wash will do just fine. And I'm mostly applying this to large areas of silver to add a little bit of depth. Um, the smaller areas, like you know the face whiskers and whatnot, you don't really need to do this, but you want to do it on your larger areas to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit easier to see some details. You're you're cheating, really. You're creating shade and depth without actually working for it so hey. uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and just uh take this guy and we're, we're, we're done i mean it's an easy easy figure there's not a lot of colors not a lot of technique but we are gonna go ahead and base it like we did from our uh basing the tommy oliver videos uh so we're gonna base it in the same style and we've completed our jungle fury wolf ranger and of course like i said we're gonna have rules for him in age of the grid so let's run through them real quick here uh, like every ranger speed six quality three defense three 
three wounds. He's got six attacks in melee with his martial arts. He's got a 12-inch range, one attack, one AP wolf blaster. He's got the energy strike. Um, if he's fighting something with, it's actually going to be toughness six or higher. Uh, instead of toughness three, I will edit that. He's going to AP plus two when fighting something with toughness six or higher. He's going to get plus one to hit on all his melee, atta melee attacks for his uh, Muay Thai style. I'm sure I pronounced that horribly wrong. Muay Thai style. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and he's got his wolf beam. Uh, so when he's in melee, he may pick one model in the enemy unit and roll one die. On the two up, it takes an automatic hit at deadly three. So we've got the, the wolf ranger here designed to do kind of, of a lot of damage to bigger things uh, and just be an all-around good fighter. Uh, and that's, that's all. Like and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Bye!